the Loi Kratong Festival is celebrated annually throughout Thailand. You might have heard of it as the Floating Basket Festival. The word Loi means to float, and a Kratong is a buoyant basket. The name of the festival could be translated as to float a ritual vessel or lamp, which is a bit wordy when translated to English. Loi Kratong is a Buddhist festival dating back from between the 12th and 13th centuries during the Sukhothai period, but the origins of the festival can be traced back to India and China. To celebrate, a small kratong or floating basket is released onto a body of water. When sending a float out into a river, canal, or pond, celebrants request forgiveness for polluting the waters from the water god Prame Konka, but also to thank her for the water supplied during the main rice harvest season. Additionally, this holiday is used to float away your anger or grudges. To get rid of the negativity in your life, you buy a little float. These can be purchased almost anywhere during Loi Kratong, and there's usually a wide selection of vendors selling designs of all types. If you participate in the floating of a Kratong, we suggest choosing bread or banana stock Kratong because they're biodegradable and thus more environmentally friendly. After you've bought your float, find a good spot where you can place the Kratong into the water. Then light a candle and some incense. Sometimes people will place some coins in the Kratong. Others might also include a lock of hair or fingernail as a way of releasing darkness. Then you put all the negative things in your life into the boat. You'll see people doing this as they pray while holding the Kratong in front of themselves. After you feel that you've put all your negativity into the Kratong, you place it in the water, give it a push, and let it float away. Although a cultural and religious festival, it's evolved into a bit of a romantic festival too. Couples will buy one Kratong for the two of them and they'll send it away together. If visiting Thailand during Loi Kratong, there are plenty of places to observe the festival. Many riverside locations will host events as well as the ponds at Benjasiri, Benjakiti, and Lumpini Parks. Those are also popular. We recommend consulting with your hotel. They may have their own Loi Kratong event if the hotel is riverside, and they'll also know where events are being held in the local area. Have you experienced Loi Kratong? If so, share your experience in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and please subscribe if you'd like to see more from TravSite.